vlog on camera, but we vlogging. We outside. We outside. We're at a restaurant called 14 Hills. <laughs> Sylvie has some new hair, as you can see. She wants to make sure you know this. It's not Sylvie. We're we going we, we to have to think of a name. What did you say it was earlier? You're going to be Sylviana? Sylviana. <laughs> you you got to roll the Anna. Anyways, <laughs> we're here for my friend Courtney's birthday. We were running very late, but Courtney's not here either. So, um, oh, I think I'm gonna go, hi! <laughs> hey! two minutes to talk because I really need to head out the door. But today is the day that I'm getting the first dosage of my COVID vaccine. It took quite a while for it to become available to me and my age group, but I made my appointment a couple of weeks ago and um, yeah, it's happening today. I don't really know how I feel. I don't think I'm like nervous, but I've heard a lot of different things from different people about the side effects and how they feel after. So I made sure not to make any plans for the rest of the weekend, just in case I'm feeling a little bit off. The only thing that I don't really care for about getting the vaccine here in the UK is that you most often have to wait up to 12 weeks to get your second dosage. So my second and final one is not scheduled until September 11th which feels so far away. But I ended up asking on Instagram what the reason for that was. And a few of you guys responded to me and said it was something like the UK government would rather have more people in the country have the first dosage than have people with both, if that makes sense. So they wanted to make sure as many people as possible could at least have the first dosage because that's like 85% protection or something like that. Um, so yeah. I know some people who are able to get their second dosage pushed up, so we'll see if I can do the same, but for now, we're just gonna go get this first dosage and worry about that. Um, so yeah, wish me luck, guys. <laughs> See you later. have been so dry for the last few weeks this same thing happened to me last summer and I just cannot explain it I don't know someone said it might be the water pressure but why does it only happen to me in the summer but they are cracking boy I do not like that <laughs> I do not like that at all one of my friends recommended this Vaseline cocoa radiant body oil and it really does work but yeah, anyways, hey guys. As you all saw, I did get my first vaccine jab yesterday. Um, I had every plan of coming back and hopping on the camera and telling you guys exactly how the experience was, but I ended up coming back here and going straight to sleep. I don't think I can fully blame it on the vaccine because I was already very tired when I was heading there. But yeah, getting on the camera just was not gonna happen. So I was feeling a little bit stressed on my way to the pharmacy to get the vaccine because 
for whatever reason, I decided that I was going to take the bus because I didn't feel like getting on the train. And the second bus that I hopped on, for some reason, it terminated early, like way before it got to where I needed to be. Um, so I ended up being like 35 minutes late for my appointment and I was so sure they were going to turn me away, but I was like, let me just walk up to this door and see what they say. So I got there and I was like, Hey, um, I'm very, very late for my appointment. So do I need to reschedule or like, how does this work? And she was like, Oh no, I'm pretty sure we can still take you. She didn't even ask what time my appointment was supposed to be. Um, she was like, I'm pretty sure we can fit you in. So it was able to still happen. I was grateful because I didn't feel like having to reschedule and figure all of that out. So yeah, they checked me in. They had to take my temperature with one of those temperature guns. And then I went downstairs to the little waiting area. Um, sat there for only like, maybe like seven minutes. And then they called my name. And I went into the little room. And the nurse or whoever she was, you know, asked me, a few questions she asked if i was feeling well if i'd had covid in the last 10 days if i was like allergic to any medications things like that so after that she gave me the vaccine jab and i swear when she did it i did not feel a thing it did not feel like a regular shot it was really weird and i remember thinking like i hope she did this right because i didn't feel anything i better have this vaccine in my arm but i can now definitely confirm that she did it because i feel it all in my arm my arm started feeling super heavy and sore by the time I got back to Sylvia's place and it still feels really sore. Like when I lift it like this, it's like, uh, it's not really a nice feeling. But overall, I'm fine. I went out for a walk this morning and I was like taking pictures on my Instagram story and one of you guys actually messaged me and said, how are you doing this right now? I got my vaccine yesterday as well and I cannot even get out of bed. I'm in so much pain. Not my experience at all. I know different people react to it differently. Um, and I'm very grateful that I'm not in that situation right now. But yeah, I'm good, y'all. I'm fine. Yeah, that was my vaccine experience, guys. I'm not really about to get on here and tell you what I think you should do about getting the vaccine. If you want the vaccine, get it. If you don't, it's none of my business. And of course, everyone is entitled to their own opinion but I am not sliding in your DMs telling you what I think you should or shouldn't be doing. So I would appreciate you guys not doing that to me. Let's just all respect everyone's right to make their own decisions about their bodies. But enough about the vaccine. I know you guys saw the title of this video. The reason you're really here. <laughs> that didn't go as smoothly as I planned. Week, oh, okay. We're not gonna do it like that. Yay, we got a flat. We got a flat, y'all. Thank you guys so much for all the well wishes and the prayers that you left on my last video, speaking about my moving situation and how we got denied for the flat that we really wanted and how we were waiting on another one that we put an offer in. Well, I am so excited to say that we did get that flat that we put the offer in on. And though we never could have expected that our flat star journey would last that long, I really do believe that we found the perfect one. I'm super happy with it. Super happy that the landlord accepted our offer and that we will be moving in exactly one month from today. Until then, I'm still gonna be hanging out at Sylvie's. Been having a really nice time staying with her. But of course, I would not be being honest if I didn't say that I am really looking forward to having my own space again and really getting settled in my new room and having all of my things in one place. The only frustrating part about my life right now is that my belongings are like in two separate places right now. So I brought as much as I could to Sylvie's place, of course, um, but the majority of my things are in the storage facility. I already went back there one time because I needed to pick up a few things, including some heels for my friend's birthday dinner. So yeah, that's a little bit annoying. And when I went there, I wanted to get a specific dress but it's buried so far in the back of my storage locker that I'm like, it's just not worth pulling everything out to get it. So that's that. But other than that, your girl is good. Your girl is blessed. She's happy. She has a roof over her head. So <laughs> I really cannot complain about anything. I'm also just feeling really optimistic about this summer. Um, I want to do a lot more exploring of London, of England, and of course, bring you guys with me. I promise that there will be much more fun content to come as I start to get a little bit more settled. 
yeah just just bear with me guys my life is a little bit all over the place right now the next video will probably be something fun with sylvie as always thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to show your girls some love and give me a thumbs up and of course hit that subscribe button and i'll see you guys in the next one bye i'm having too much fun with this swivel chair <laughs>